Four, beware the stair. Come on, Andy, said Granny after morning meeting. Let's work in the math center. It's not our turn, whispered Andy Shane. But before he could stop her, Granny was in the math center, and she had pulled out all the pizza puzzle pieces. You're not supposed to mix the pizzas, warned Dolores, coming into the math center. You're not supposed to put the pepperoni with the peppers. Granny Webb kept making mixed up pizzas. I like my pizzas with the works, don't you, Andy Shane? Andy Shane stepped back. He knew what was coming. Miss Janice, yelled Dolores Starbuckle. Someone in the math center is misusing the materials. Andy hoped that Miss Janice wouldn't hear Dolores, uh, but she heard all right. She came over to the math center to see what was going on. Dolores, said Miss Janice, Granny Webb isn't misusing the materials. She's using them in a new way. Dolores Starbuckle's face turned the color of a fire, and she swept the pizza pieces onto the floor and stomped out of the math center. Andy and Granny Webb decided to see how the caterpillar liked his new home in the science center. Dolores Starbuckle wandered over too. I'll be the teacher, said Dolores, pointing to a picture on the wall. What is this, Granny Webb? I believe that that is the Musca Domestica, Dolores said Granny. Wrong, said Dolores. This is a picture of a housefly. And what is this? asked Dolores. That is a Fortunius Pialilus, said Granny Webb. Wrong again, shouted Dolores. That is a firefly. Everyone knows that. And what is this? Dolores pointed to a dragonfly. Granny Webb didn't say anything. What is this? repeated Dolores. I'm waking. This is an Anax Junius, said Andy Shane. My Granny Webb taught me all the fancy names for bugs, and she knows them better than anyone. Oh, yeah, said Dolores. Yeah he said, and then Andy Shane did something he'd never done before. He gave Dolores Starbuckle the Granny Webb stare. He stood up straight. He put his shoulders back. He stared at Dolores Starbuckle. He didn't move a muscle. He didn't blink an eyelash. He just waited. Finally, he asked, What is this bug, Dolores Starbuckle? Fine, she said. It's an Annex Junius. The Granny Webster worked every time. I just remembered that my apples need picking, said Granny Webb. I'm sorry, Andy Shane. I have to go. That's okay, said Andy, smiling. Andy Shane, will you teach me the fancy names of these bugs? Dolores asked. Andy thought for a moment. Please, asked Dolores. All right, said Andy. Andy told Dolores the fancy names for Monarch Caterpillar. He told her that soon the Caterpillar would build a case called a chrysalis, which was a lot like a cocoon. A cocoon, asked Dolores. Andy stepped back. That rhymes with cartoon, said Dolores with a laugh. And lagoon, said Andy Shane. He laughed too. And baboon, said Dolores. Maybe school isn't so bad, Andy thought. And maybe, just maybe, Dolores and I can share our rhymes at tomorrow's morning meeting.